Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Hello, stock friends looking at CMG, VRX, Twitter, and GoPro on the daily and weekly time frame. So CMG is fitting this pattern perfectly. And it really, this is a perfect example on Friday as to why we need to stick to the charts and let our emotions stay out of it. So we were looking at the bulls really struggling on Friday. We had a complete drop in the morning oversold on the five minute time frame fairly significantly oversold and we were looking for a bounce right off the support we did get that short-term oversold bounce saw a nice little four or five dollar move to the upside and that was a nice day trade and it did end up being a much more significant bull move to the upside at the end of the day but the short-term bounce in the morning didn't really play out it, it showed a bit of weakness and then we headed back down towards support so looking at that i would have said uh oh and i, I even did i started questioning like are we going to see this bear break is this really not going to stay in the equilibrium pattern that we've been watching and anticipating it to stay in but if using stop loss levels which were these two lows of support 465.20 and 465.99 any bull would have stayed in the trade and that is what we were looking for to happen a bullish reversal candlestick keeping the daily middle bollinger band channel keeping in this tight range and looking for the bulls to show up into this coming week so that's what we've got here we've got you could call it an equilibrium pattern you could call it a descending triangle pattern with a horizontal base of support here down in the 465 466 level with lower highs the range is continuing to tighten and we're going to see a break of this range either at the end of this week or early next week so we're going to be watching very significantly wrong word very closely we closed up near the high of the day 475.80 and we're looking for a lower high to form compared to 490.67 to stay in this tightening pattern. We now know that if we break 465.20, it's going to be a very clear bear break in the short term. And if we break this lower high pattern by getting over 490.67, it's a bull break. So our levels are right there for us and we're just watching them. And we knew, know that there's not going to be too much significant volatility within that channel. We are, there's going to be some trading opportunity as there was on Friday, but we do have this very clear channel to be watching and it shows up on the weekly time frame as an inside bar. So this is a perfect example of inside bars and we have the inside bar on the weekly time frame fitting completely within the inside bar of last week. And it's not an inside bar last week. It's a wide range last week. It's the inside bar this week. And we're watching for a break of that this coming week. So the bulls are loving sideways consolidation after this six week move to the upside that we saw here this is this shows a very strong sideways consolidation the fact that we're not pulling back significantly not seeing a lot of profit taking favors the bulls so we're going to be watching this 100 week moving average resistance just above 490 coming into this next week we'll have to update that at the open and the upper bollinger band on the weekly is going to be up around that level as well so keep an eye on the cmg bulls to see some follow through have some upside here to stay within this range and our support levels are very very clear vrx on the daily time frame bulls had a nice day on friday after seeing the bulls form a a stop and reversal candlestick on this little pullback filled the gap to the downside now we're looking for the bulls to try and see some continuation resistance is 1018 this is an inside bar on the daily as well so if you were to zoom into the hourly time frame of the past two days you would see higher lows and lower highs in a tightening range so we're up at the high of the day 1018 1058 are our two resistance levels to watch and on the weekly time frame we can see we're still weak but we are looking to get over these exponential resistances the rsi is coming off of the oversold levels and looking for some continuation to the upside and we're looking to see how much upside the bulls can get here we're anticipating just a short-term bounce on the weekly time frame in order for the bulls to change this weekly time frame we're gonna have to see a bounce consolidate form a higher low and then form a higher high by getting over the weekly middle bollinger band resistance which has rejected multiple bounce attempts in the past six months Twitter on the daily time frame. Nice job by the Bulls. We saw them hold that support early in the morning. 1836, 1837. A double bottom at the low of consolidation. We know after a bearish reversal candlestick, if we break the low of that candlestick, the odds of confirming that bearish reversal candlestick indicate 
or they increase right away. And we didn't break that low. So that showed the bulls holding support. We negated the bearish reversal candlestick. We closed up at the high of the day and the bulls are remaining in full control. So that is now a very key support in the short term, our little double low at 1836. And we're looking at resistance of 1889 and 19 psychological. Weekly time frame broke the lower high pattern on the weekly. So the bulls are looking to shift, shift this trend. We have seen two significant weeks to the upside. So we do need to consolidate in the near term. Not yet, but once we do consolidate, we'll look to form a higher low and then try and see a higher high for a continuation of this trend change. GoPro on the daily time frame. Tried to see a bounce. I'm still bearish GoPro. We did hold this support by closing above 820, but it was a little higher low and, or I should say a lower high and a lower low. We did not see any bull volume on Friday that indicated anything was changing. So we're looking here for just another lower high. Anything under 879 is just another lower high. And we're looking down at 805 before looking to fill the gap to the downside. So the GoPro bears are still in control. If we can't get over this weekly middle Bollinger Band, the bulls are not going anywhere. And that level is 890. We've rejected three weeks in a row. Didn't even test it last week. And a fairly weak candlestick with an upper wick of profit taking. So that's what we've got heading into this next week. CMG getting very interesting. We'll have a really nice trade there once that tight range does break and vrx let's see if the bulls can get some follow through to the upside i appreciate you watching we'll check back in as always have a great rest of your weekend